Good morning fellow Australians. This is Scott Morrison, Prime Minister of Australia. As you already know, we're facing one of the worst crises in recorded history. So today I'm going to update you on the government's new social distancing rules that will come into effect immediately. First of all, we have reduced the maximum number of people allowed in public social gatherings from 500 to 426. This is based on the most up-to-date research and advice from my world-class medical team. So what this means is that you can still go ahead and organise your barbecue. We understand that Australians like to socialise and take their kids to the park and so on. I'm not saying you should cancel your 21st birthday party or anything like that. That's all okay but limit the size of your gatherings to 426 people. I think that's a fairly reasonable number. If you decide to break these rules and organise a party with, say, 427 people, well, that's just downright irresponsible. To prevent people from flagrantly breaking these new rules, we're going to impose stiff new penalties on all transgressors. Let me tell you now, if you partake in a social gathering of 427 people or more, you will face a fine of $60,000 and up to six months in jail. As I said, this is not stopping you from attending your mate's birthday party. As long as your mate understands that 426 people is the limit, 427 people is just downright irresponsible. It's careless, it's reckless, and now, and rightfully so, it's illegal. Don't do it. Secondly, we have increased the social distancing rules from 1.5 metres to 1.768 metres. This is based on the most recent and accurate scientific modelling and research. This distance is far enough so that you will no longer be able to touch people in any way. No handshakes, no back patting, no kisses on the cheek. Failure to keep the minimum distance of 1.768 metres will result in an on-the-spot fine of $337. Repeat offenders will face jail time. My government and I are taking these measures seriously. To show how serious we are, this distance not only applies to all public locations, but also to all private locations as well, including private residences. If you're at home, you must stay a minimum of 1.768 metres from all other residents, including other family members and loved ones. However, this rule will not apply to children, as children will still need to attend school. Based on the most recent and accurate scientific modelling and research, children will have a reduced social distancing distance of 29.8 8 centimetres. This happens to be almost one ruler length, so starting from today, it is compulsory for all children to carry a 30 centimetre ruler around with them at all times. If children are found to be in breach of the 29.8 centimetre rule or fail to carry a ruler, their teacher or supervising adult will face an immediate and on-the-spot fine of $128. Repeat offenders will face jail time. As an example, if a child comes within 40 centimetres of an adult, that adult will face an on-the-spot fine of $337 as they are breaching their 1.768 metre rule. If a child comes within 29.8 centimetres of an adult, that adult will not only face a $337 fine, but also an additional $128 fine as they've allowed a child to get too close. To be completely frank with you, these fines are warranted. It's absolutely irresponsible for adults to get within 1.768 metres of each other, and it's completely reckless of them to allow children to get within 29.8 centimetres of each other. Thirdly, self-isolation periods are currently set at 14 days. To make it easier for the public to remember, we'll be keeping the number 14, but just changing the days to weeks. That is, if you've recently travelled overseas or are currently sick, you must self-isolate for a period of 14 weeks. This is based on the most up-to-date research and advice from my world-class medical team. If you fail to self-isolate, you'll face a fine of up to $60,000 and up to six months in jail. For those of you who feel it's only necessary to self-isolate for, say, 13 weeks and 5 days, that's completely irresponsible of you and careless. You'll be issued with an immediate infringement notice and will face court if you refuse to pay the $60,000. Note that politicians will be exempt from the 14-week rule as they are required to maintain our robust democracy and keep it operating smoothly. They'll only need to self-isolate for a period of 14 hours. For politicians that break the 14-hour rule, all fines and penalties will be waived. Our fourth measure will be a stimulus package to help hard-working Australians. If you have a family income of over $200,000, you and your family members will now be exempt from income tax. That is, your income tax will now be set to 0%, at least for the foreseeable future. The Australian Government and myself feel that as a hard-working family earning more than $200,000 annually, you have certainly given a lot back to Australia during these tough times, so we'd like to personally thank you by waiving all income tax. 
To pay for this stimulus, we will be reducing payments to all unemployed individuals. Currently, people on Centrelink's New Start allowance are receiving approximately $39.93 per day. Based on our most recent scientific modelling and research, we found that this amount is excessive and a complete waste of taxpayer money. Consequently, we'll be halving this amount to $19.97 per day. As we don't want to be seen as being draconian, we have decided that we will round this up to an even $20 per day. Think of it as our gift to you. Furthermore, the Complaints Department at Centrelink will be placed on a temporary hiatus, saving the Australian Government, and therefore the taxpayer, a total of $323,000 per year. If you have any complaints regarding your new payments, please write all of these complaints down and keep them in a safe place. When the Complaints Department is reopened, perhaps in the next year or two, you may then send them in for perusal. Anyway, those are the necessary measures that the Australian Government have taken in order to combat the ongoing crisis. I hope you understand that we all have to make sacrifices in these tough times. Remember the key figures, a maximum of 426 people at social gatherings, keep a minimum distance of 1.768 metres between adults and 29.8 centimetres between children, isolate yourself for 14 weeks after all international travel and if you're sick, noting that this will not apply to politicians who will only have to self-isolate for a period of 14 hours and will be exempt from any fines or penalties. For hard-working families who earn over $200,000, you'll be exempt from paying income tax during these tough times. This emergency stimulus will be paid for by unemployed people in the form of reduced payments to the New Start allowance, which will now be set to a fixed $20 per day. I hope this transmission finds you well. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and whatever you do, keep your distance from one another. 1.768 metres to be exact. From the Australian Government and myself, thank you for your ongoing cooperation. <laughs>